were received in Mecca. And the minister who was in charge of uh, Hajj operation and some other people, aviation and so on, were there. And I presented our problems and our complaints. And the gentleman who spoke, the minister, appreciated what I said. He agreed with what I said. And he promised that they would take care of everything. But then he said he had a message to the government that we should tell the government that instead of spending this large sum of money bringing people to Saudi Arabia, to Mecca, and so on, we should, we should advise the government to spend more of it in teaching, teaching these pilgrims on religious affairs because they notice more than half of our pilgrims did not know how to do abolition. Some of them who are seeing prayer, they did not know how to pray. They are waiting here, 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 here on prayers. And they said, we should advise the government to spend a moment in teaching these people. Elijah Walker Kumi said, Sayyidu, stop there. And we stopped. So he took over and he thanked them. But by the time we came back to Jeddah, we sat down in the office of the then ambassador, because the ambassador was in Jeddah at that time. A worker woman said, Sayyidu, we have heard this before, during late September. And that was why we went home, we set up <coughs> Jama'at al Nasr al Islam and others to see how we can help people in teaching them all these things. Um, Quran, um, Wudu, um, Salat, and so on. But the progress is not as we expected. So we should go back and do that. I don't know how far we have gone with that. The other was that we decided to go and see what other countries do when they prepare for the pilgrimage. So we went to Pakistan, uh, we went to India, we went to Indonesia.